now the 13th of May, 2013. Cyclomahasin, uh, slightly intensifying through the overnight hours, but what we are seeing is more consolidation in the center of circulation here today, but a big burst of convection off towards the west, including around Chennai, here into eastern India, down there to north and Sri Lanka. You're actually getting hit by some of the outflow coming from the center of circulation today. And, and really, if you do get these heavy rain showers, just remember that the center is actually a little bit farther off here towards the east. This is just due to a robust and well intense outflow along the northern periphery, and there's an upper level trough off here, and that's what's really going to pull the storm off towards the north throughout the day today. So all of that together, that's what we're going to dive in uh, to today. Uh, if you are off here into eastern India, actually these heavy rain showers may be of a little bit of a relief from the heat because uh, yesterday, or actually on Sunday and Saturday in Chennai, one of the warmest days thus far this year due to this storm system pulling in that warm air from the north. This definitely is going to be cooling things off. But too much it does mean flooding though, and this is what I actually created about uh, eight hours ago, just showing these areas in green where I do believe there is the risk of some localized flooding. The area in yellow is the risk of storm surge and a possible landfall in the area in red. Still think this is the area where you possibly could see this storm come ashore as a uh, well as a severe cyclonic storm the equivalent of about a category one on the saffron simpson scale or possibly a strong tropical storm so if you're here are you going to see a strong severe cyclonic storm highly doubtful but it is going to bring some heavy rain and very gusty winds near the coastal areas especially here in bangladesh and um, portions of miramar where it is very low lying the storm definitely uh, it, it is going to be packing a punch when it comes ashore but I I mentioned an upper level trough you can actually if you look closely see it here on the satellite imagery it's that right there and that is going to be the road that this follows as it pulls off towards the north turns towards the northeast and follows that right into Bangladesh here throughout the set next several days making landfall by Thursday afternoon model guidance actually in fair agreement we do have one model that kind of jets off here towards the west but that's uh, just the outlier most of them pulling off here towards the northeast the area in black that is the one from the JTWC but uh, putting it right into Bangladesh here and the problem with this if it takes this one right here is that the right front quadrant would push these winds and the storm surge right up near Chittagong there and uh, that area has suffered in the past from tropical storms. The water gets funneled into the uh, low-lying areas and it causes severe risk of storm surge and coastal flooding. Uh, if it does go a little bit farther there towards the east, east of the city as shown from the JTWC track, um, then that would put the right front quadrant over Miramar. Now coastal areas here would definitely see the flooding and you still would see it over here but the good news the wind would be blowing offshore. Now as far as where the heaviest rains will be well with this storm system right now we see that very intense center of circulation developing here throughout the day on monday do expect it actually to get up to that category one status possibly going into tuesday as it does a wrap around but then once it gets off here farther towards the north actually let's pull up the shear here from the uh, ecmwf you can see due to that trough up here it's going to go through an area of low vertical wind shear this is good for development well bad but good for the storm. Then as it gets closer to the coast though, if we scroll through on Tuesday, really that shear is going to continue to be rather robust up there. Let's take a look at the MSL, pull it back here on Tuesday. You see that storm going through that low vertical wind shear area. Then once it pushes up here though, it's going to fall apart right near the coast and there's the saving grace with that and the European model really picking up on this rather well. You still have an abundant amount of, uh, well, rainfall uh, the rotation of the storm is still there if we toll up the wind so you're still gonna have these gusty winds coming on shore coastal areas in Myanmar are definitely seeing coastal flooding but uh, the good news is that due to that vertical wind shear in the northern portions of the Bay of Bengal it's going to weaken this storm system out enough where it's gonna come ashore as the equivalent of a, a tropical storm very likely the tropical storms we have seen in the past still have that heavy rain and still have the very high risk of flooding so even though uh, you are in some of these areas here and you do think, uh, well, it's just coming as a cyclone, um, you're still going to be seeing that heavy rainfall. And here in the European model, this is Thursday. We see some of these areas and some of the higher elevations near coastal areas as well uh, of that intense rain upwards about 30 to 50 millimeters per hour. 
with that said, there's really the risk of flooding, but also landslides in some of these areas. So as of today, I know I've been doing this every day, and really uh, my cone of air has gotten smaller and smaller, but today I do believe the landfall is going to be here uh, from about central portions of Bangladesh, possibly uh, extending off there through Miramar, likely right into the center of this, following along that road. You can see it here on the satellite picture, and uh, making a landfall here by Thursday afternoon. The heaviest of the rainfall, though, is going to be right around that center of circulation. Extending out from that, you have that winds coming on shore right here. And also, you're still going to be seeing those flares up of convection all along the east coast of India. Even though the storm is remaining offshore, and I've seen a lot of reports saying, thankfully, it's remaining offshore, it's close enough, we're still going to cause some heavy rainfall and the possibility of flooding here. Not to mention, the storm really is taking its time. It's Monday now and expecting to landfall by Thursday. So, uh, it's going to continue to linger out here. We're going to continue to keep you posted here at westernpacificweather.com. Uh, just for everybody's information, though, the internet. India Meteorology Department, the official warning agency on this storm system. But if you have any questions for me, you can uh, always post them down in the comment box below. Also, I'll be on air at NHK World this evening, uh, so please go check that out if you want to uh, see me there given the worldwide forecast. I also am going to touch on this, but not nearly as in-depth. And as always, though, stay safe out there. Thanks for watching, everybody.